All right, so let's start up where we left off in the last video. Namely that we were given a polynomial 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1, and this required a placeholder for x, so we added in the 0x. And in part c, we found that g of minus 1 half was 0. And we did that by walking through the synthetic division required and getting a 0 remainder, which told us that g of minus 1 half is 0, because whatever the remainder is, that's what this equals. But this means that, you know, if x equals minus 1 half makes g 0, then the other way we could have thought about this was saying that, well, let's divide g of x by x plus 1 half. And if we do that, we would have to set this equal to 0 and solve, which gets us back to our minus 1 half. But then when we walk through the synthetic division, we now have a quotient and a remainder. We now have the quotient. So originally we started with a cubic, x cubed. This is going to be x squared. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 and there's going to be no remainder. The remainder is 0. So what we just found was that this division is a very nice polynomial. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Well, if I multiply both sides by x plus 1 half, I'm going to get, you know, multiply the left by x plus 1 half, that gets rid of dividing by x plus 1 half, and then multiplying on the right, I'm just going to have x plus 1 half times whatever was on the right. This is what's so great about dividing polynomials and finding roots. I started with a cubic, found one zero, and factored it out. What I'm left with now is quadratic. Well, if I wanted to find the other x-intercepts, the other zeros of this, all I would have to do is set this quadratic equal to zero and solve. And I think you'll find that if you work with this a bit, that g of x is going to be equal to x plus 1 half times 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. All I'm doing here is I'm factoring out the 2 and then noticing that what's left will actually factor. Or if you want to, you can use quadratic formula. But the kind of point is, we know how to solve, we know how to factor a quadratic. We didn't know how to factor cubics, but I just factored one. And all it took was knowing one zero, I could pull that out and I'm down to a quadratic, something I know how to factor. This is the important thing about the factor theorem. We're able to pull out zeros from polynomials and get lower and lower degree polynomials, polynomials that are easier and easier to work with. And we'll be using this a great deal. The only thing we need now is something called the rational roots theorem, which is what we're going to get in the next video.